Viktor Ivanovich Belenko, born on the 15th of February 1947, is a former Soviet pilot who defected to the West while flying his MiG-25 Foxbat jet fighter and landed in Hakodate, Japan. The defection of Viktor Belenko took place on September 6, 1976 when Lieutenant Viktor Belenko of the Soviet Air Defense Forces flew his Mikoyan Gorovich MiG-25P Foxbat aircraft from near Vladivostok in the far east of the Soviet Union to Hakodate Airport in Hokkaido Prefecture of Japan. His defection to the United States caused tension between Japan and the USSR, especially after Japanese and American specialists moved the aircraft to Hyderi Air Base and disassembled it. It was returned to the USSR in boxes with some parts missing. The examination revealed to the US that, while impressive in speed, the MiG-25 was not the super fighter that they had feared it to be. During the Cold War, there were many defections by pilots and air crews. In addition to pilots defecting of their own volition, there were Western efforts to encourage defections, beginning with the US operation, Mula aimed at encouraging MiG-15 pilots in North Korea to defect. The Kuomintang ruling, Taiwan offered gold to defecting, Chinese pilots, and the US Operation Fast Buck, was similar to Operation Mula, although aimed at encouraging a MiG-21 pilot in North Vietnam to defect. Operation Diamond was an Israeli operation similar to Operation Fast Buck, and was successful in getting an Iraqi pilot to defect with his MiG-21. On September 6, 1976 Belenko and several other pilots from his squadron of the Soviet Air Defense Force took off from Shugu, Yevka, Air Base around 300 kilometers, 190 miles, from Vladivostok, on a training flight. The Linko followed the flight plan at first, climbing before descending, rapidly and heading out to sea. At around 1.10 p.m., Japanese radar detected Belenko's plane and at around 1.20 p.m., two F-4 fighters of the 302nd Tactical Fighter Squadron took off from Chitose Air Base near Sapporo. Belenko's map of Hokkaido had only shown Shitose Air Base, and he had planned to land there. He had expected to be intercepted and escorted by military aircraft to a military base, either Chitose or another one. However, the weather was very cloudy, and the Japanese ground radar was not able to adequately track Belenko's aircraft. The Japanese Air Force were new aircraft, only having entered Jazz service in 1974. However, they had poor look down shoot down radar and were unable to locate the aircraft either. With fuel running low and needing to land quickly, he finally located Hakodate Airport in southern Hokkaido. Belenko circled Hakodate three times and landed at the airport. On landing he almost hit a Boeing 727 airliner that was taking off. Hakodate Airport was too short for his aircraft, so despite deploying the plane's drogue parachute, the front landing gear's tire burst and the aircraft ran off 240 meters, 790 feet. Off the end of the runway, it finally stopped just before the localizer antenna, with approximately 30 seconds of fuel remaining. Belenko had intended to land at a military airbase and had not planned to arrive at a civilian airport. Local people and workers began to gather, and some started taking pictures. Belenko fired into the air with his service pistol. The Hakodate air traffic controller contacted the SDF but was told to call the police. The police arrived around 2.10 p.m. and closed down the airport. The MiG-25's arrival in Japan was a windfall for Western military planners. The Japanese government originally only allowed the United States to examine the plane and do ground tests of the radar and engines, but subsequently invited the US to examine the plane extensively. It was dismantled for this purpose in Japan. The plane was moved by a US Air Force C-5 Galaxy cargo aircraft from Hakodate to Hyderi Air Base on the 25th of September, and by this time experts had determined that the plane was an interceptor, not a fighter bomber, which was a welcome reassurance for Japanese defense planners. The Japanese government laid out a plan on the 2nd of October to return the aircraft in crates from the port of Hitachi and bill the Soviets 40,000 US dollars for crating services and airfield damage at Hakodate. The Soviets unsuccessfully tried to negotiate a return by one of their own Antonov and 22 aircraft and attempted to organize a rigorous 
inspection of the crates, but Japan refused both demands, and the Soviets finally submitted to the Japanese terms on the 22nd of October. The aircraft was moved from Hayaguri to the port of Hitachi on the 11th of November on a convoy of trailers. It left in 30 crates aboard the Soviet cargo ship Tigonos on the 15th of November 1976 and arrived about three days later in Vladivostok. A team of Soviet technicians had been allowed to view sub-assemblies at Hitachi, and upon finding 20 missing parts, one being film of the flight to Hakodate, the Soviets attempted to charge Japan 10 million US dollars. Neither the Japanese nor Soviet bill is known to have been paid. In 1980, the US Congress enacted S. 2961, authorizing citizenship for Belenko. It was signed into law by President Jimmy Carter on 14 October 1980 as private law 96 to 62. After his defection, he co-wrote a 1980 autobiography, MiG Pilot, The Final Escape of Lieutenant Belenko, with Reader's Digest, writer John Barron. While residing in the United States, Belenko married a music teacher from North Dakota, Coral, and fathered two sons, Tom and Paul. He later divorced. He also has a son from his first marriage. Belenko has never divorced his Russian wife. After the breakup of the Soviet Union, he visited Moscow in 1995 on business.